Hi, it's Jim the Iowa Tesla Guy. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've done an FSD beta video. It's because there hasn't been any new versions of FSD beta coming out. I'm currently on 10.12.2 and Elon is promising a 10.69 uh, within days of me filming this. But what I wanted to do with this FSD beta video is something that I did with 10.11, which was put FSD into some particularly hard situations because driving with FSD on regular roads has become quite boring and routine and that is a really good thing. So I'm going to go through some of the same intersections that I did for what I called hard situations in 10.11.2 two but do it in this version 10.12.2 and see if they're any better and the other thing that's happened since then is there's been a navigation update to the car and perhaps that has made fsd a little bit better and we're going to put it to the test through some of these intersections so come along for the ride and you'll see how well this works or doesn't work One of the things that FSD seems to struggle with a lot, at least for me, is roundabouts. And we, here in Iowa, we have roundabouts and we have a couple of different types. And we're gonna be going through two types right now. And the first type is a really small, tight, low to the ground, almost curb-based, small roundabout. And it is very tight. It's had trouble with this in the past. It did an okay job during the last video. And then we're gonna follow that up with a more traditional roundabout, our corn stalk roundabout, uh, because it's got a big sculpture of a corn stalk um, in the center of it. And we'll see how well it does through that. You see, we're just coming up here with some construction here. It did a good job avoiding that. And right now we are approaching that roundabout. We've got a couple of cars in front of us and we're going to see what happens. So let's see what happens. It has come to a full stop. I need to give it a little gas. It is hesitating. If your judgment of a success is that it didn't hit any curb or any cars, then that was a success. But that by no means was overly smooth and I did have to intervene with my foot. Um, it was very hesitant, wanted to come to a stop, didn't know what it needed to do. And according to Elon, the next version is supposed to make a huge improvement on roundabouts and I hope that is the case. All right, we are now approaching a more traditional roundabout. I've got a truck in front of me that can't seem to know how to drive. Um, this is our corn stalk roundabout. As you can see in front of us, we've got the big corn stalk sculpture. I think they're kind of cool. Um, and we're hopefully we'll go through this straight through without a stop or a major intervention. And it did not stop and it proceeded in and it's going around the turn perfectly well and in fact I would say that would be just as good as if I did it manually so so far that roundabout big thumbs up all right we're coming up on a left hand turn this is a somewhat of a blind turn I did this in my last video and I really wish it would get over to the right I need to break out because it was way over the center line report that you anyway, this is more or less a blind turn. Um, it's difficult to see left and right. Um, cross traffic does not stop. It has had a very difficult time with this particular turn. So let's see what happens. We're stopping way too short. You can't see left, you can't see right. So we're inching forward. It's so often cars turning left. It wants to pull out into the lane again. It's way too far in my opinion to cut off that traffic. I had to break out. I'm gonna call that one a fail. It just can't figure this one out for some reason, so I hope the next version is better. All right, the next turn that we are going to put it through its paces on is again another turn I did in, the, in a previous video where I am at a 40 mile an hour road. I'm coming up for a right hand turn where the cross traffic is 55 to 65 miles an hour and they do not stop. It's had an issue dealing with just getting this right-hand turn, figuring out when's the best time to get out and get going, and we're 
we're gonna see what happens here. We got a car in front of us. Right now, I don't see anybody behind us. It's usually fairly hesitant. Isn't quite pulling up directly behind this car. Pulling up to the line. There is absolutely nobody to the left of me. We can go. And is it gonna do it? Oh my gosh, come on. It wanted to go, it didn't want to go. It's like you, you, you got to either put up or shut up. And again, this is a rough edge of FSD that it just needs to improve on. All right, we are going to end this video with our last test. And I call this the Thelma and Louise Road. Because what we have here is te technically it's the back of a parking lot that leads into a road that the nav thinks is a proper road and just goes straight. And then you can kind of see here, it thinks it does this kind of number, but in reality it goes down here and there's a hard right and then another hard right. We've had two problems with this in the past. One, there is a large drop off that this thing wants to just rock it off of, which is a problem. And then we get to the barricade at the end of the road and the last time it just wanted to plow right into that barricade like it wasn't even there. So we're gonna see what happens this time. Is there an improvement? Does it hesitate? Does it slow down? Let's give it a try. All right, here we go. I have my hands close to the wheel and the brake. In 500 feet. Ah! <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. It wanted again, rock it right off. How's it gonna handle this? Oh, it saw it. This is an improvement, people. Went into the gravel, but it at least followed the road, which is a huge departure over what it did before, which was it wanted to plow directly into that barricade. And this time, it did what it needed to do. Um, so, FSD beta, 10.12.2, still has some rough spots, and it probably will for a while. Elon is promising big, 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 big improvements in 10.69, if that's what it is called. And when I get my hands on it, I will put it to the test and report back to you so you can see if it matches the instructions on the can. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. I got videos like this coming out all the time. FSD beta videos, review videos, road trip videos, Tesla videos in general. If you like that kind of thing, you might like my channel. Hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified for things that are coming down the road. So until the next video, safe driving.